My name is Lauren, and I'm a technical support representative here at Hawkridge Systems. In this video, we will talk about using the SolidWorks Solid Network License Manager client. One licensing type for SolidWorks is a network slash floating license. This license is great for a large group of users who may not use SolidWorks all day. This allows you to have potentially more users than purchase licenses, but it will manage how many concurrent users are allowed automatically. It also allows you to share higher levels of SOLIDWORKS including professional, premium, simulation, or flow simulation so they're not locked to a specific computer. Network licenses work on demand and by default is first come first serve. When SOLIDWORKS is launched it immediately checks the license server for an available license and if there is one available it checks it out. If additional add-ins are activated, like simulation for example, it will automatically check to see if that license is available and check it out. If it's not available, you'll see an error that no licenses are available. And you may need to ask your teammates to release the license. As soon as you disable the add-in or close SOLIDWORKS, those licenses are immediately checked back into the license server and are now available for someone else to use. When using a network license, there's not only a server-side component to install, which is covered in the video linked in the description, but a client side gets a copy as well that grants some useful functions. The first tab of the SNL Manager client is the License Usage tab. This grants all users the ability to view how many licenses are available for the different license types. The second tab is the Server List. Here's where the user can add, remove, or modify license servers. You can have multiple listed and your SOLIDWORKS will look for an available license sequentially from each server on the list. This is useful for working from multiple locations that may not be able to network together. The third tab is for license borrowing. If you intend to take your computer off campus, you can use this tab to borrow a SOLIDWORKS license for up to 30 days. This allows you to use SOLIDWORKS anywhere, even when not connected to the company network. When a license is borrowed, it is now locked to your computer and will auto-expire after 30 days, or earlier depending on your selection, or can be returned manually once reconnected to the network. Be a good workmate and try not to borrow licenses for longer than you intend to be offline to prevent others from using the license. One side note about manually returning licenses, this action has to be done when reconnected to the network on the same type of network connection, Ethernet, Wi-Fi, VPN, etc. that was used to originally borrow the license. The last tab, License Order, is a way to control the order in which SOLIDWORKS looks for licenses when enabling certain add-ins. For example, if your server has Simulation Pro and Premium available, when you enable the add-in, which does it obtain first by default? This tab can control that behavior. Here are some common questions and errors. Error number one. This version of SOLIDWORKS is newer than your license version. You must upgrade your Solid Network License Manager and license. This is most common when upgrading versions of SOLIDWORKS and that the server software also needs to be upgraded and reactivated. I've put a link in the description how to reactivate your license. Error number two. Could not obtain a license for SOLIDWORKS standard. Server node is down or not responding. This is typically a networking issue. Check with your IT that port TCP 25734 and 25735 are open on both the client and the server. Ensure that the server is enabled and running. Here's a common question. Can you reserve or block licenses from certain users or groups? The answer is yes. This is done via a text option file. This file can be customized to change the default behavior of the license manager. Refer to the Flex IM guide under Option File Syntax, linked in the description. I hope this video has been helpful in showing you the usage of the SolidWorks Solid Network License Manager client. Thank you for watching, and please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel 
and visit our website at www.hawkridgesys.com for more knowledge-based material.